Greetings to you all and welcome back to Let's Play Command and Conquer 95 with me, Artego Omega. We're here on the final Nod mission and I have a suspicion that this time we're going to get it done. This suspicion is helped by the fact that there is no longer a time limit on YouTube videos. Right then, yes, big shout out to YouTube. Not sure why I'm giving a shout out to a website which I'm you're watching this on. There we go. Go on YouTube. So there was absolutely nothing in that veil of darkness, which means this ridiculous sized army is going to charge into the enemy base now on a realistic speed because we want to watch this fight. Let's get it done. We are going to have to kill that thing, which is annoying, but that'll come later. We're going straight for the base. It feels like they don't have a construction yard because they're not they're not rebuilding this um, advanced guard tower. It may just be that they're flat broke. But either way, they're unlikely to rebuild their advanced guard tower, which means they're unlikely to rebuild this advanced guard tower. Let's go. Everyone, just get in. What, what are you doing? And why am I pointing with my finger and the cursor at the same time? What are you doing? Leave the tree alone. Kill the GDI. The trees we can handle. This is the army I've been working with. You're attacking a wall. What has happened to my men? How, have, how has a small force, just an MCV, and a handful of infantry and a nod buggy destroyed the greatest stronghold that GDI has known when the people manning the vehicles are confused at crossing bridges and can't tell GDI infantry and buildings from trees and concrete walls. GDI should be ashamed of their cells. To be fair, they could have killed us at any moment, but they decided to go and park their tanks next to a nice sea view. That helped. Make no mistake. That, that was helpful. Do we need all of these units to get across the uh, the river? And that's a less exciting thing to watch. So we will watch their orderly queuing system that they have in a slightly faster speed. And that's an airstrike. And I've lost my last man. Construction complete. Curses. Next airstrike's going to hit the refinery, which the would be a problem if I didn't think I was about to win the game. Building. We're nearly ready to move in. Get out of my way, please. You also out of my way? No, I refuse. Pe I make people move for me, but I'm not moving for you. I'm talking in the vein of that tank. Right then, this is going to be the force they are now in control group number one. Let's see. They can do it. Let's see if they can navigate this concrete wall. That's the end of that thing. Now we don't have to navigate it. The music is picked up for our final assault. Construction complete. This is very Nod-esque music. GDI would clearly have something like I'm a mechanical man playing because they have better taste. Targets. Three mammoth tanks. One advanced guard tower. And a barracks which we don't apparently care about. That's more like it. Get in there. Okay, ignore the buildings. Kill the mammoth tanks. Bring them down. But build more things just in case we fail. You, flame all of the infantry in one attack. You missed three. Not bad, though. Mammoth tank number one is down. Get a medium tank, because they die quick and they're still annoying. Flame tank, go over there. You also. Everyone else, next medium tank. Mammoth, sorry. Mammoth tank. They've sold their barracks for no apparent reason. Give us a second go. You've decided to attack the communication center. Not the primary threat at the moment, I would say. But who am I to judge? I'm just your commander. Back to the fight. You've killed the advanced thingy-majig. Yes, that's, that's the kind of level I've degraded to, because I'm trying to sound fast in the way I'm commentating now. I'm try and make this thing sound more epic. One mammoth tank remains. Kill that building off. Right, that's good. They can't produce any more vehicles. Let's kill the medium tank because it's nearly dead. Good. Let's just stop saying everything we see happen on the screen because you can see it yourselves. As far as I can tell then, remaining are just these small fragments of forces. This advanced power plant, which is soon to meet its end, as I half burn my tank to death. 
this annoying structure here and then anything that might be in the top right hand corner. Lost. Lost. You've lost. In the middle of a fight like this, there's so much death going on, the computer can't keep up with exactly what has been lost. Enemy technician must fall! Curses, he's got a dodger. He's got a pistol, he set me on fire. Bring him down, we got three tanks shooting at you. He's taking bullets to the head from tanks, and he's not dying. Bring him down, bring him down. We've got four tanks, look, no, we've got three tanks. We've now got four tanks looking at him. Bring him down. Chase him. Good shot, man. This fellow, however, is defiant to all attacks. Just stands there. Like, eh, never gonna hit me. It's fine. Yeah, don't worry about it, I'm never gonna shoot the gun. Seriously, that man's made of stone. Has anything been rebuilt? I don't, nothing has been rebuilt. It looks to me like they have no construction yard. I say this because they have been selling buildings, which means they now have some money, and they still haven't rebuilt anything, which suggests they actually can't rebuild anything. So if they have a barracks or a war factory in this shroud, then it is likely they're going to be stockpiling units. But if they don't, they're just going to walk in and kill everything. No advanced towers here. Did we kill those before? Were they just never there? Can't remember. But I don't think these standard guard towers are going to be much of a problem. They probably were never there because they have this one up on the cliff and that makes them feel superior. It looks like GDI have finally fallen. We have reinforcements coming left and right. If only they would shoot down one of my transport planes, which I think flies pretty close to their base every single time. But no, they've never thought to do that. And that's to our advantage. Looks like there is a nice way up to destroy this thing, but not for one light tank and one midi gunner. So we're going to ask this force to swoop around in the most dangerous manner possible. In a way that goes right past the tower, we're going to destroy this. Power plants, that's what it's called. Yes, had to think about that one. And you are all going to go into the top shroud for the final glory. You've completely given up on harvesting, it is beyond you. You were a scout, you did great. You have just been built and have decided to hide behind power plants to try and get out of the fight. You are cowards for this. I commission you to fight each other to the death. This chopper has been our saviour only because it got a commando to do a little bit of damage before getting shot and then brought an engineer to capture a building, which he couldn't capture. There's no apparent reason. Our men have been brave, fairly stupid, but successful. The final moment of glory is coming. And hopefully, there's going to be an ending video to cap it all off. If there's not, I'll be severely disappointed. Looks like the final piece of GDI is going to be that unpowered tower. Because they have nothing in this in enormous expanse in the top right. It is only fair that the final honours go to this flame tank who has jumped ahead of everyone else whilst this flame tank holds up his friends. This has been the Nod campaign for Command and Conquer. Our men have achieved victory. Kane is pleased. Mission accomplished. But not that pleased that he's going to give us a video. Unless we get a video after that gives us our score. Will our score push us up to the top of the leaderboard? Let's find out. Civilians did surprisingly well in that fight. Didn't lose very many. GDI's building count, however, suffered quite dramatically. My name is being entered for a final time and a video. Your efforts have landed us here, my faithful friend. The temple is complete, and we are about to embark upon our greatest exploit. For now, relax, 
and watch as my net runners dance through the web of cyberspace. Once inside, the world is at my fingertips. Begin. Welcome to the Global Defense Initiative Orbital Defense Matrix. The world. Where to strike? Where will the world most keenly feel the blade of GDI treachery? You have done much to aid the Brotherhood towards this final victory. The choice, my friend, is yours. A very bizarre video. Reminded me kind of Tron. Kind of Star Wars. Very, very bizarre. I certainly wasn't expecting that, and thankfully I couldn't remember the ending video for Nod. So, hey, it's a bit crazy. But it looks like we've taken control of the Iron Cannon. Why we couldn't just capture it with that engineer earlier, I don't know. But now we've taken proper control of it. So we can attack a variety of places, and not to throw away at how poor my geography is. I'm not going to select this bottom right one. Right. So, now then, what else do we have? Well, we're not attacking London. So, we have France. And we have America. Now, this is a tactical decision on my part. Hmm. Who would be the most offended? Where do we think we have most viewers from? Eh, it's a tough choice. Let's run with controversy. Down you go, America. political leaders of the G7 nations issued a formal statement denying complicity in last Tuesday's tragedy involving the most famous address in the world, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, D.C.'s renowned White House. The death toll in what some are calling an unwarranted attack passed 600 today as rescue workers and United Nations teams continued to sift through the rubble unearthing 12 more bodies from what was once the seat of Western democracy. U.S. President Robert Fielding, safe at Camp David at the time of the explosion, reiterated his support of the U.N. statement, despite growing opposition to global defense initiative policies. Fielding labeled the disaster, quote, a mind-numbing accident. GDI Task Force Commander General Mark Shepard, accompanied by U.S. Attorney General Nancy Griffith, testified before a Senate congressional hearing earlier today. Shepard, once the golden boy of international diplomacy, 
wilted under intense cross-examination from hostile senators demanding explanations for the blast that leveled the historic landmark and sparked an international debate on the need for more effective safeguards in the age of high-tech warfare. Defensive but unapologetic, Shepard admitted he had no idea how security access for GDI's top secret orbital space. And so the game has decided that that woman is so boring, we shall not watch her newscast any longer. And I concur. What a terrible newscaster. So, we apparently kidnapped some red rock and put it in a museum. Well played to us. And our schools of fish were very happy. Great. Maybe that's more electrical current. It's hard to tell with such pixelated graphics. Nevertheless, that was it. That was the Nod campaign of Command & Conquer, the original, made in 1995. Hence, called Command & Conquer 95. Another newscast has taken a stab at it, but we're not even gonna tune into that one. Taking control of the Ion Cannon, using it to suggest that GDI is somehow traitorous, can't be trusted. It's kind of a weird plan, it's unlikely to work considering they're defending the whole world. But whatever. It was our plan, we went with it, we sparked a bit of controversy, and that's what Nord thrives on, don't forget. Nord is kind of a rebel group there, rebelling, as most rebels do. If you create a good amount of controversy, you're going to get more people fall into your cause. That's great work. Well played to Kane. Chances are Nod has been severely strengthened. And unfortunately, I missed the voice of Eva. The voice which I think is quite good in this game. However, I get a second chance of finding out the voice of Eva when we complete the GDI campaign, which will kick off in the next video. But won't be done in the next video. Trust me, you saw how, how long this one took. Curious. We have an advert for Command and Conquer 2 Tiberian Sun. Enjoy! Yes, there's another game from the Command and Conquer series, that's great. Anyway, should we be watching this? Should I be skipping it? Can I even skip it? What do we think? Ah, let's just leave it going. We're going back to GDI with our next video. It's gonna be another long one. But, should be a good one. This nod level was a bit hard, we had to use a couple of glitches and exploits to get our way through because we found ourselves in a really, really grim situation, and the game was screwing us over. However, when all said and done, they didn't bother to use their iron cannon, that's not our fault. By the way, for anyone who's ever played Tiberian Sun, this advert is completely wrong. Tiberian Sun is nothing like this. That unit is in Tiberian Sun, but other than that, it's completely wrong. They've gone for the right music track though. Just listen to that. That's about all the Tiberian Sun I can take. I'm going to press this escape key. Which immediately closes down the whole game. It takes me back to DOSBox. Okay, that's it for this video then. Hopefully you'll join me next time where we shall be taking on the GDI's final mission. Hopefully you'll join me for that, and I shall see you then.